Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of How to Be a B. On today's episode, we're talking about how to make men jealous. I don't want to teach women how to make men jealous in general, but there are these times that men can be really disrespectful, either because they don't know how to react or because they don't care about how you feel. Hmm. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you can see a couple walking down the street, they're holding hands, they're so much in love, and there is a tall guy, very nice looking, coming towards the couple. Have you ever seen a woman looking at this guy from top to bottom while holding her boyfriend's hand or turning her head like this to see the other guy? No, I don't think so. But try to remember how many times you've seen this couple walking down the street and the guy, while holding his girlfriend's hand, is looking at a beautiful woman coming towards them. And sometimes he even turns his head and there are these women that go like oh you know this is how guys react and it's totally okay and it's not a big deal he loves me he takes care of me so what's the big deal what's the big deal this is unacceptable and this is disrespectful if he wants to look at other girls he can do that when he is out with his dudes when you go out with your girlfriend or with your wife you behave you respect her you don't put her in a difficult situation. So let's look closely at some cases. Let's say that you are out for a walk with your boyfriend and he's looking at other women. Let's say that you're sitting at the bar and he's looking at other women. What do you do? First, you start acting like he is your friend, which means you don't hold his hand anymore. You're not very sweet. He can see that your mood has changed and he goes like, what's the matter, honey? And you go like, there is something bad. I want to talk about it some other time. Now, you have all his attention. You don't nag, you don't use many sentences, you don't become emotional, you just postpone it. When you postpone it, you make him start thinking that something is really, really serious. And he's like, what did I do? What happened? He's really worried. But you act cool and calm and collected, but he can see that you are more detached. Then you go home and he asks you again, what's wrong, honey, let me know. And you answer, oh, I'm so tired today. Let's talk about it some other time. So you have to do that twice. The next day, when he brings the issue again, you're like, you know what? I really don't like something that you did yesterday. What is honey? What did I do? It's just that uh, I could see that you were looking at other women and I would really appreciate if you stopped doing that when you were with me, period. Again, you don't become emotional, you are totally irrational, you don't nag and you don't over repeat yourself. Just few very clear sentences nothing more he gets it men are very very used to emotional women to women that nag all the time so when he sees you being very calm and collected he can understand that you don't fool around and that you mean what you say that you want this kind of respect so the next time you go out problem solved if he continues doing this thing again and again it clearly means that this guy is not for you and it's a huge red flag so don't ever say that it is okay it is never okay if something bothers you you always have to say that when a man really loves you he will do anything to make you happy like anything second case you sit with your boyfriend at home and you're so relaxed and you're having fun and suddenly he starts talking about his ex i could never forget the trip to milan with sandra we stayed only for 10 days but the more you stay there the better so are you gonna keep listening to what he says are you gonna find everything out about sandra and about their trip to milan i don't think so you interrupt him immediately and with a very nice and happy voice you use his weapons against him oh really and i will never forget this trip to the mountains with matt oh my god it was amazing and matt was always very adventurous and nature is really nice and there is happiness all around I bet he doesn't even remember who Sandra is. So you can use this kind of technique every time he mentions somebody else. He can go like, oh, you know, the other day, there was this girl at the gym and she's always hitting on me and she started texting me. You interrupt him immediately and you go like, of course I understand how you feel. I have this guy at the gym. Oh, he's so tall. He's always like very helpful with me. He knows so many things about nutrition and stuff. And now, where is the attention again? And then he starts feeling weird. So is he gonna mention again another girl? I bet he's not. Because now he's afraid of what you're gonna say next. Now let's move on to something more difficult. It's the time that he starts talking about a woman like with a very weird, nice admiration. You know, Samantha, she's so smart. Every time we have a project at work, she knows how to handle the situation and she's dressed so nice and this is the time that you become really really jealous because you can see that he admires her what's the solution to this problem money 
and power. Men are very, very competitive. And when it comes to money and power, they want to be the best. They want to be on top of everything. So you go like, oh yeah, the other day at this bar, there were some guys and they were buying us drinks all the time. And we started talking. And then when we were about to leave, they were waiting for us outside of the bar. And they had this big, very expensive cars and everybody was looking at them. And they were like, do you want to ride? We can take you girls back home. It was amazing. They were so rich and you could see how well they were dressed and everything. Samantha, who was Samantha? I don't think he remembers who this person is anymore. See, see, as simple as that. You use his guns against him. Bottom line, what I'm trying to say here is that if a guy makes you feel insecure or makes you jealous, you can easily turn the situation against him and you can set your boundaries and everything is okay. But if a person is indifferent to your feelings and he keeps doing that and he keeps making you feel insecure, then you really need to start looking for a new one. When a man doesn't do his best to make you feel loved and appreciated, then you should start teaching yourself a lesson that you deserve way better. Always stand for yourself, always have a backbone and always say what you don't like always stay away from people that they don't value your emotions and how you feel that they accuse you of everything and that the only thing they care is about themselves so that's all for today if you want a private consultation with dr bitch follow the link in the description don't forget to share this video with your best friends